Good afternoon and welcome to another Agribyte tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk everyone through the Solvi platform and how simple it is to generate plan counts as well as prescription files. To start the tutorial off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk everyone through how to navigate through the platform because that's really important to access the information that you're looking for in a timely, simple manner. So we look at the panel over on the left side, you'll notice that it has three separate individual tabs. The first tab is called the imagery tab, and that basically relates to everything to do with the imagery on that data set. So in the top section, there are some areas that when you're uploading the data set, you can actually add some details about the crop type, the field name, and or the, the farm name itself. But most of the information is coming directly from the, the meta information on the drone. Uh, the ortho mosaic basically shows you the stitched outcome of your work and your work would be right here in the source imagery so this basically shows you your flight plan and where the drone took a picture everywhere it took a picture is represented by a blue dot so it's actually a decent representation of the flight plan and it gives you that understanding of where all the imagery was captured from we'll turn that off the next piece of information here is the elevation. This is great for determining high and low spots throughout the field, depending if you're having moisture issues, so on and so forth, but it's just a data point, right? Which is good to have. The field boundary is basically that, it's just the boundary of the field, which will pull in as we're doing any, you know, any form of analytics. Um, and the very last feature over here, which is probably the most underutilized functionality on this tool is the annotate measure. And I'm going to show you some practical use cases for where this comes in really, really handy. Um, and it works really, really well in the that workflow environment where a crop consultant is advising a grower and or a drone service provider is providing data to a smaller grower. It's, it's a really easy way to annotate specific areas where you feel the, the grower and or field worker should field validate the results of the, the data. So I will circle back to that and I'll give you a couple of really solid use cases, but we'll dive into the analytics tab. On the analysis tab is where all the analytics is either created and or represented. The last tab here is the exports and that's where you would export all of the analytics in report format and or file format. And I'll explain the differences as we go through this process here. So this right here, as we know from the first tab is a blueberry patch. Um, the use case for this was the grower commissioned the crop consultant to come out, fly, capture the data for a yield estimation. Um, because the size of the blueberry, blueberry bush is a great indicator for the weight of berries you're getting off that bush. So right off the bat, through artificial intelligence, we counted all of the plants. So right out of the gate, we know that, you know, every single plant is counted and we know the diameter. We can also carve this field up into three separate information buckets per se. So right now we're looking at the diameter and we can adjust that as well based on whatever market conditions you're working with. So if the market conditions are, you know, everything less than 15 uh, inches means X, well then you can adjust that. If it was 16, well then you could, you know, adjust the histogram to represent that value as well. But as we can see, um, 15 is anything below 15 is considered small 15 to 20 is considered average and then the the blue above anything above 20 inches is is what they're shooting for so as you can clearly see the top section of the field has you know larger bushes the bottom field has some smaller ones but when you take a look at it from a health perspective and we adjust the histogram here and we move this down here and move that to around there, which is probably close to where the very index should be. You'll notice that the rules have reversed now. The bottom section of the field that has some of the smaller plants, they're all doing a lot healthier based on the, the, the very index. So there was something going on with this farmer's field up here based on an irrigation issue, which thankfully they were able to determine based on his data set, but the, the, the main reason that the, the, the flight was commissioned was for yield estimation. So this is one of the value propositions that Solvi's plant level analytics provides. It gives you three different ways to look at the field and look at the information coming from the plants and the crops. 
So really straightforward. Um, you can also add as many categories as your use case requires, right? So for we know that in a lot of vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, there are predefined market conditions based on the size of those crops come harvest where certain sizes go to premium markets and smaller sizes go to secondary markets and really small crops go to meal prep and the third type of you know uh, sales flows whereas with this pl platform here regardless as to how many different you know predefined market conditions are affecting your crop you have the ability to slice and dice the data any way you want right so it all comes down to how you need the information represented based on your use case. So from a health perspective, or so from a diameter perspective, we have the information from the health perspective, we have the information. So we also know that there are 18,557 plants in the field. If we wanted to then just take out all the red ones, we can easily turn that off. And as you'll see on the, in, on the screen, all the red disappear. So we're no longer focusing on the red ones. And if we wanted to remove the, let's say the, the blue ones, the, the biggest ones that only focus on the yellow ones, those are the ones that we you know, probably have stand a much greater chance of moving into the blue with a couple of field treatments before, before harvest. So again, these are all just data points, but combined paint a much stronger picture for, for, for you when you're looking at you know, managing and maintaining your crops. I'll turn those back on. Um, for plant health, I'll turn this off. Uh, Solvi obviously does what every other platform does and provides you with the, the, the full color spectrum based on the whatever indexes you want to use. This data set was captured with multispectral, so you have you know, access to all the vegetation indices that are, can be applied to multispectral imagery. If this was just RGB, we'd be applying either you know, up to three or four uh, vegetation indices. So again, with this platform, because it takes all the image types, you can apply a lot of different analytics to it. So when we're looking at this right now, and we'll leave it on the very index to generate a, a prescription file, all you need to do is have the plant health activated on the data set, and then you click on prescription file. So the very first iteration is going to give us the 30 by 30, because that's the default for a tractor, the boom on a sprayer tractor. But for drone spraying, we'd want to probably bring it down to three by three and or 10 by 10. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. Um, when you go three by three, you're probably going through a couple more batteries, but you're being pinpoint accurate in, in, your, in your spraying. Um, and then you would just insert the amount of field treatment based on the relevant health of those areas, and that's how you would then treat that field. Um, very straightforward, easy to do. Um, for all the outputs, all the outputs are right here. You could download an ortho, which is pretty straightforward. You could download the raw value from the elevation, which is, again, pretty straightforward. The plant health values. Uh, the PDF report has them all. So we basically say we want everything in this. And there's one little piece of information that I didn't add into the presentation, which is zonal statistics, but that's a whole tutorial on its own. So once I click create a PDF, this is going to run in the background. It could take up to 10 minutes, but once this is done, you have a complete representation of everything that we just looked at on that report, which makes it really, really easy. And there we go. So right off the bat, you, you have all the above information that comes from the, the first tab. And as we scroll through, everything that we looked at and we turned on comes through. So we have the plant diameter. We have the health. We have the zonal statistics, which I didn't show you before, but that's, again, for another video. And we have the prescription file. So you have everything right there. This is in the report format. Um, if you wanted to download the actual prescription file, this is the file here that you download and you take that shape file from this download and that is what you plug into your spraying apparatus. So apart from that, that is a quick little Solvi tutorial here from Agribyte. I hope you have a great day and we'll be chatting again soon.